I'd rather be a sparrow than a snail. Yes, I would. Paul Simon. I'd rather be El Condor Pasa. It's a very famous song by Paul Simon. I'd rather be. Él dice que prefería ser martillo que clavo. Y dice, I'd rather be a hammer than a nail. Ba, ba. Yes, I would. If I could, I surely would. I'd rather, I'd rather, I'd rather, I'd rather, I'd rather. Es nuestra forma de decir, pues, hombre, preferiría, preferiría. I would rather, I would prefer. Pero se dice mucho más, I'd rather. I'd rather, I'd rather be an English teacher than a multimillionaire. It's more fun. If I could have both, it would be possible, but teachers never make much money, so I have to make a choice. Vocación, dinero. Vocation or calling. It's my calling. It's como mi llamado. Alguien que me llama o algo. It's my calling. Teaching is my calling or my vocation. Vocation. To become a multimillionaire, well, it would be nice, but not if I have to renounce my profession. I enjoy teaching too much. So, I'd rather be, be a teacher than a multimillionaire. I'd rather have a fast car than a slow car. I'd rather have one wife than two. Two wives would cause too many problems. Can you imagine? I remember a man, I know a man who has two wives. In many years ago, long, long time ago, I can still remember when I met two men from Iraq. I remember in 1982 when I was, I was 30. Yes, a company called me. A company that makes white line, white line, línea blanca, refrigerators, freezers, stoves, que son cocinas, and um, different types of uh, washing machines, dishwashers. Washing machine is lavadora, dishwashers, lavaplatos, lavajillas. And this company called me and they said, Richard, we need your help. Yeah? What do you need? Teach English? No. We need an interpreter. An interpreter? Me? I don't work as an interpreter. But we want you because you know the products in our company, because you have taught the people in our company. Yes. And so we want you. But for who's coming? Two gentlemen from Iraq. Oh, really? This is in 1982. OK. And so two gentlemen from Iraq came. Both of them were wearing a watch with the image of Saddam Hussein on their watch, okay? This was during the period in which Iraq and Iran were fighting a war. It's quite interesting. And the two men came to visit the factory in Spain. Well, two factories, one in Madrid or near Madrid and one in Logroño or near Logroño in Rioja, okay? And so these two Iraqi gentlemen came. One of them was single. He didn't have a wife. He was about 57 years old and he was the leader. The other one probably was Kurdish. I don't know, because he was from Mosul in the north of Iraq, in the Kurdish area. And uh, it was interesting. The other one had two wives, two wives. And I remember he didn't speak very much. He couldn't speak English. The other one spoke English quite well, in fact. But uh, the, the one who didn't speak English had two wives in Mosul. And at the end of the two weeks, I spent two weeks with these two gentlemen and with people from the company examining everything. Re freezers, refrigerators, dishwashers, washing machines, stoves or hobs. It was pretending it was either hob, huh? hobs. And it was interesting. And on the last night, I remember we went to a famous restaurant in Madrid, famous old restaurant, a restaurant que afirma ser, a restaurant that claims to state, is hacer una afirmación, to affirm, igual, pero to claim is afirmar como verdad, auténtica. There's one restaurant in Madrid that claims to be the oldest restaurant, I think, in the world, okay? Not only in Spain, but in, in the world. And we went to this restaurant, which is famous, and it's good, it's a good restaurant. And it's good everything, fish, beef, but especially lamb, and roast suckling pig, cordero y cochinillo. 
Now, of course, the Arabs, they, they, Islams, Islamic, they couldn't eat roast suckling pig, but they ate lamb. And I remember watching this man eat lamb like I've never seen it eaten before. And he's an expert. He left the lamb with only the bones. Nothing was left. And then the next day, the last day in Spain, my wife and I took them, took, and Villamar, we took them to the Corte Inglés here in this city, and they wanted to buy gifts to take back to Iraq. Now, the, um, the man from Mosul, the man who didn't speak English, he had two wives. Now, uh, both of them were about the same height as my wife. My wife is tall. My wife is about one meter 77 or one meter 76, so she's quite tall. And the man said, my wife is the same, my wives, my two wives are the same as you in the body and the height. So my wife was the model. And we went to the women's section to buy a dress for his wives, his two wives. And my wife put it on and came out, walked in front of the, the Arab man, and he said, very good, I want two. He said, two identical? He said, yes, two. And then more things. He bought several things for his two wives, and they had to be identical. So, por lo visto, apparently, in the Arab world where some uh, polygamy exists, if you buy something for one wife, you have to buy something identical for the others. Okay, so the question is, I would rather have, I'd rather have only one wife, not two, because that would be too expensive. I would need to buy the same thing for each one. Uh, would you rather be poor in Spain or rich in Greenland? Would you rather, would you rather, would you rather, would you rather, preferirías, escucha y piénsalo, would you rather be poor in Spain or rich in Greenland? Groenlandia, my God. Population, probably 5,000 people. And to be rich in Greenland, well, what can you do with your money? Well, you can fly to uh, England or to the States or to Spain. But still, I would rather, personally, eh? I would rather be rich in Greenland than poor in Spain. Okay? I wouldn't like to be poor. So I would rather. Para dar una preferencia entre dos opciones, decimos muchísimo. I'd rather. I'd. I'd rather. Si os cuesta decir la contracción I'd, pues con I would, y ya está. I would rather. I'd rather be rich in Greenland than poor in Spain. Next question. Uh, would you rather work? Would you rather work for a Spanish company or for a multinational? Mul. No multi. Mul. No. Ma. 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 Must. Multi. Would you rather work for a Spanish company or a multinational? Uh, usually multinationals are interesting. You learn a lot about processes, procedures, rules, regulations, standards and different types of things, these are very, very helpful. And the human resources management, the human resource, the human factor, el elemento humano, factor humano, in multinationals is quite interesting. And you can learn a lot. Now, Spanish companies are interesting too, because in Spanish companies, they're more conservative, and you know the rules of the game much more. Las reglas del de juego, the rules of the game. So, would you rather work in a Spanish company or in a multinational? It's up to you. If your English is not very good, I recommend the Spanish company. Now, if your English is good, I recommend a multinational. There are a lot of Spanish people who have moved up, moved up in multinationals, and there are quite a few, bastantes españoles. There are quite a few Spanish people managing important areas of multinationals for all of Spain, for the southern Europe, for all of Europe. Uh, so there's some very good managers. A lot of Spanish people have learned to become brilliant managers through multinationals. So question, would you rather work? Would you rather work for a Spanish company or a multinational? Multi, 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 or multi. Pero la U, L, no cambia. Multinational, multinational. Me personally, I'd rather work for a multinational, really. The, game, the rules of the game are clearer 
in a multinational, usually, but not always. Okay, would you rather own a Picasso or a Sorolla? Would you rather own a Picasso or a Sorolla? Imagine you come into my house and I say, look, on this wall, an authentic, genuine, genuino, authentic, an authentic Picasso. And on this wall, an authentic Sorolla. Which one would, and I say, you can, you can keep one. It's a gift. One is for you. You can take the Picasso or you can take the Sorolla. And you look at them and say, hmm, I'd rather take the Picasso. Me, personally, I'd rather keep the Sorolla. I personally like Sorolla more than Picasso. However, the Picasso is worth more, probably. Both are brilliant painters, but Picasso is a master. And Sorolla is a master. But a, but a Picasso painting could be worth millions, millions and millions of dollars or euros. And a Sorolla, perhaps too, but not quite as many millions, eh? Not as much. Uh, Picasso is considered a greater master, or at least more famous and more valued, and his paintings are worth more in the international market, art market, than Sorolla's are. So yes, if, if it were a question of money, I'd rather have a Picasso. I'd rather own an impropiedad. I'd rather own a Picasso. But if it's a question of taste, my personal taste, y sobre gustos no hay nada escrito, como decís, personal tastes, I would rather own a Sorolla because I personally like Sorolla's paintings very, very much. Okay, would you rather be a famous inventor or a famous musician? If you could choose. I have a magic wand, a wand, varita magica, and I'll say abracadabra, alakazam, bam, and you will become either a famous inventor or a famous musician. A famous inventor is Thomas Edison. Thomas Edison, for example, is one of the fa most famous inventors in history. And a fa famous musician is Mozart, Beethoven. Fijaos, decimos Beethoven, no Beethoven. Beethoven, Bach, Chopin, Wagner, many more, Stravinsky. A famous musician. And you, if you could choose, would you rather, would you rather, would you rather be a famous inventor or a famous musician. Me personally, I'd rather be, I'd rather be, I'd rather be, nunca se dice to be aquí. I'd rather be a famous musician, because I like music very, very much. And in my next life, ya firmado, I've already signed, in my next life, I will not become an English teacher. In my next life, I will go to the conservatory to study musical composition, and I will become a composer, okay? Uh, because music, I love to express myself in music. Okay, but I didn't study music when I was a boy. When I was younger, I didn't study music scientifically. And so my ability with music is simply based on my good ear for music, but not on technique. So it's, and it's too late now. So my next life, I've already made the decision. In my next life, I will be a musician. So an inventor, no, no thank you, it's too much work. To invent things takes time and a lot of effort. Thomas Edison, you remember, Edison. Thomas Edison said, he, a very famous statement by Thomas Edison was, oh, creativity and innovation, all right, is 1% inspiration, bing, and 99% perspiration. Now, in English, perspiration is sudor, transpirar. Uh, Perspiration, ah, oh, too hot, okay? So he said, invention or innovation or creativity, all right, is 1% inspiration and 99% perspiration. And that's true. You have to work hard to invent something. And you have to test, ensayar, you have to test. Ensayar para una actuación, como una clase inglés, no decimos test, decimos to rehearse. If you're playing a trumpet, and tomorrow you have a very important recital, recital, recital. Well, you rehearse, you rehearse, practice, 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 okay? But to test is ensayar como con probetas ensayo, ensayando esto. Thomas Edison tested at least 170 different materials before he found the right material 
for the filament to make the incandescent light. Okay, so he's right. It's 1% inspiration, 99% perspiration. And with this, I'll change to the center camera again. Okay, so would you rather be a famous inventor or a famous musician? In my personal case, I'd rather be, I'd rather be, I'd rather be uh, a famous musician, okay? Expressing myself through music. Uh, would you rather be blind or deaf? It's a tough question. That's a really tough question, and for me, I can't answer the question. Uh, I, personally, I can tell you what I would prefer, but you need to speak to a person who's deaf or to a person who is blind in order to, uh, to really know the truth. Blind is ciego, you can't see. Deaf is sordo, you can't hear. Question, would you rather be? Would you rather be? Would you, would you, would you, would you, would you? La D de would, enlazando con la Y de you, casi es ju, 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 como la palabra judío, ju. Would you rather? Would you rather? Rather. Okay. There was a very famous newscaster Hombre de Noticias in America called Dan Rather. If you know him, that's the perfect pronunciation, his surname, Rather. Question, would you rather be blind or deaf? Tough question. Difficult question. Me, personally, I'd rather be blind. There's no doubt. I would rather lose my sight than lose my hearing. I'd rather lose my sight than lose my hearing. Why? Because if I were blind, aquí es un condicional, porque son casos hipotéticos. If I were blind, I could continue teaching. I don't need to read to teach. I don't need to see you to teach. I could teach you with my eyes closed. Yes, I would lose some possibilities, but not too many. Oh, not too many uh, to be blind. I could continue my profession. If I lost my hearing, forget it. You say, apague, vámonos. If I lost my hearing, if I were deaf, I couldn't continue teaching. I couldn't. So, in my case, the question is, would you rather be blind or deaf? I would rather be blind. I would rather lose my sight, sight, or vision, se puede decir vision, se puede decir sight, than lose my hearing, audición, hearing. Okay? Now, uh, in your case, it's very difficult to say I would rather be blind. That's a big, big decision. Eh? I will lose my sight rather than lose my hearing. Here's a question. Would you rather be able to see your children or grandchildren or to hear them? Interesting question. When you can see them, you, you see them smile. You see them grow. It's very nice. When you hear them, you can talk to them dynamically. Hello, Jimmy, how are you? Did you have a good day at school today? And you, and you can give and take. There's a dynamic exchange of communication. What differentiates us, you and me, from the animal world? Mundo animal. What differentiates us more than anything? Animals are stronger, usually, than we are. Animals are faster than we are. Some animals can see better. Los bulls. Owls. Eagles, hawks, falcons, and many other animals can see better than we can. Okay? Now, many animals can hear better. Can you hear better than most animals? Many animals can smell better than we can and can hear better. But no animal can communicate verbally more dynamically than we can. Our ability to speak, our ability to communicate, the dynamic nature of our communication skills is unparalleled, unparalleled, sin paralelo, unparalleled in the world. And that's what basically di differentiates us. And that communication ability allows us to propagate ideas and to improve our brains, okay? If you lose your ear, you've lost it. It's very difficult to communicate. You're in a silent world, and it's very hard. So, in my case, personally, if I had to decide, if somebody asks me, Richard, 
would you rather be blind or deaf? For me, it's clear. I'd rather be blind, okay? And I'd rather walk with a cane or with a dog uh, than not to be able to inter to connect with other people verbally and with my hearing in a dynamic way where I can respond spontaneously to the v or verbal inputs that I receive, okay? So, it's an interesting question. Would you rather, would you rather, would you rather, would you rather, would you re rather be blind or deaf? Another question, would you rather be able, I preferiría poder, añado be able, would you rather be able to turn invisible or to fly like Peter Pan, to fly? Yeah, imagine. You remember the movie Peter Pan, the old the Walt Disney movie, the original Peter Pan. He was flying through the air, bah, with no problem, effortlessly, sin esfuerzo, effortlessly fl to fly. And do you remember the movie The Invisible Man? He took off unwrapped and he was invisible. Can you imagine? You just say one, two, three, boom, and I disappear. You can't see me, but I can see you. That's to turn, tornarse invisible, volverse invisible. Would you rather be able to turn invisible or to fly like Peter Pan? Interesting question. I always ask my students this question, and I don't tell them why, because I'm interested in the answer. Because 95% of the people, 95% of my students, in all these years, 95% of the students I've had, and I've had 5,000, I don't know how many, I've had thousands of students. 95% of them answer, I would rather be able to become invisible or turn invisible. Me, no, I would rather be able to fly like Peter Pan. Question, what positive things can you do invisible? You know, if you turn invisible, can you do anything really positive for yourself? Well, for yourself, maybe, okay? But for people in general, for humanity, for mankind, what can you do that's positive? Very little. If a person says, I would rather be able to turn invisible, that means they have something dark in their psyche. All right. Now, to fly like Peter Pan is completely innocent. I would prefer, I would rather, I would prefer to be able, or I would rather be able to fly like Peter Pan. In that case, if I'm stuck, stuck in a traffic jam, in heavy traffic, I'll simply pull over, put the car on one side, go out and fly to work if it's not raining, okay? Would you rather, would you rather, would you rather, would you rather, would you rather work as a policeman or as a fireman? Me, I'd rather work as a fireman. Yeah, in my next life, if I don't become a musician, one interesting option is to become a fireman, okay? But if you want to become a fireman, you have to, to be strong, really strong, okay? And so it it's not easy to become a fireman. There's a lot of competition. Competencia. Hay mucha competencia para ser bombero en este país y en otros, me imagino. Y fijaos, digo competition, competición, no digo competence. Competence es lo contrario de incompetence. Ahora, la competencia de competir is competition. There's a lot of competition. Would you rather be a policeman or a fireman? I'd rather be a fireman. Would you rather be blind or deaf? I'd rather be blind. Would you rather be a famous inventor or a famous musician? Me? I'd rather be, I'd rather be, I'd rather be a famous musician. Would you rather have a million dollars or a million pounds? I'd rather have a million pounds, libras. It's worth more, vale más, than a million dollars. Would you rather work in a Spanish company or a multinational? I'd rather work in a multinational, personally. Would you rather be poor in Spain or rich in Greenland? I'd rather be rich in Greenland. Would you rather live in Paris or in Rome? Vaya, now that's a difficult one. But for me, it's clear. I'd rather live in Rome. Rome is the eter eternal city and a good climate, Mediterranean climate. Paris is cold, wet <laughs> most of the year, but very, very beautiful. But if I had to choose, would you rather live in Paris or in Rome? I'd rather live in Rome. Would you rather speak perfect English or not speak English at all? I hope you say perfect English. And my job is to help you move in that direction. And your job is to help me help you, okay? 
So I'll see you again very, very soon. Take care.